All right, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is going to be uh, basically if like your VMware is running slow, uh, you are you upgraded to Windows 11 and now your VM is running slower. Um, what you need to do is you're going to need to run this script right here and then you're going to need this script right here. What this second one does is it disables the you know throttling that Windows 11 will do on your computer. And this is just for VMware Workstation. So what you do is you like you come down here to CMD, you open it, you run it as an ad admin. <clears throat> you'll see right here. And then you'll just type in this first script right here. Now I will say the first one what's going to happen like it's not really going to take effect until you reboot but you see it successfully completed the second one right here you're just going to copy and then paste in here and then right there and then as, as soon as you do that it's going to stop the throttling on the vmware um, again or whatever the case may be that you want to do that in this case we're going to we're we're aiming at VMware workstation right because if you went from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or you're running Windows 11 and you're having problems with VMware running slowly this will speed up VMware <clears throat> no matter what no matter what computer you're on matter no matter what you're doing um, again I run it on all mine all my VMs run perfectly fine um, they run, I mean, you can easily see that I can just sign out right here um, and then shut down. I can shut down real quick. You know, the, I, don't, I don't have any problems whatsoever. I can crank up another VM. I mean, I can crank up any one of these VMs as quick as possible. And <clears throat> I'm on currently, uh, I believe this is VMware Workstation. Yeah, this is VMware Workstation 17... 17.63 so just in case everybody doesn't want to know um, you especially on Windows 11 you're gonna to need to be on 16.5 or higher um, but I do recommend going to 17 <clears throat> when you're doing that no matter what these two scripts need to be run on Windows 11 if and again I know you're having to probably pause the video and then you know type out the scripts yourself um, unfortunately what I'll do in the comments section below is I'll I'll put these down here so you can just copy and paste them so if you look in the comment section or not the comment section but the show notes below you'll see that in there with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video we'll see you guys on the next one